Hello and today you find me at Atworth Village and behind me here I have a deceptively spacious four bedroom property in absolutely immaculate condition. Now what you can't tell from here is it actually goes up three stories and there's also an extra extension over to the side. It's linked by the garages and has got a fabulous garden at the back which is beautifully landscaped. Now like I say a lot of this has been refitted and replaced inside and it's definitely worth a view because you just simply won't believe how big this is. Let's take you inside and show you a little bit more. So before we go in, let's just give you a little bit of an overview as to where we are at the property within Atworth Village. So just up the road, just on the right hand side, there is the White Hart Public House, which is fantastic, dog friendly, family friendly, good hearty, wholesome English food. A little bit further up the road again, we've then got the nursery. We've also got a primary school. We've got a local shop within the Bear Garage, and we've got a village hall, which also um, hosts place at the end. So look, classes such as yoga etc and then if I focus on this end going back towards shore you've got Loudon Garden Centre which is fantastic restaurant Il Velo Doro and then just turning left you're heading towards Whitley where you've got the fabulous pear tree a golf course and a little cafe so really nice location and a perfect great value family home so coming in through the front door and straight into this deceptive four bedroom family home and straight away you can see that the standard of finish is absolutely amazing beautifully laid um, parquet wood flooring all the way through the downstairs area this is absolutely stunning you've got really nice finish to the size of this hall and you've got a lovely cupboard under the stairs there just turning to the right and then you have the downstairs cloakroom absolutely what you would expect with a little window to the front as well but let's take you through now to the main living spaces and again this is not what you would expect what a lovely size living room absolutely beautiful really lovely with a nice bay window to the front here so enough to be able to tuck one of those large snuggle chairs into and then they've the guys have added in this fabulous modern wood burner as well and then you've also got more than enough room here for another sofa or two as well this lovely floor running all the way through as i said and it takes you through into an extra which is the dining room space so really nice to have this it's still very open plan in its feel which is nice and modern and you've also got the double french doors out onto the garden as well turning right and back in through into the kitchen area so this is a kitchen breakfast room straight away you can see we've got the breakfast area set out just on the right straight ahead of us as we're looking at it now now this has got little cupboards built in just underneath this room has been so well designed and well thought through so let's give you a bit of an overview and a long view of it so we've got quartz worktops over really lovely beautifully designed modern cupboards in that really fantastic dual color style which is really current at the moment and really lovely big Arga type range cooker in there you've also got all the little extra finishing touches that you would expect so really nice recessed underhung sink really good quality with a water softener under there as well so lots of extras in here including the dishwasher being built in as it is at the moment and then coming back through over to the right you've got a utility now you've not really got one you've got kind of two utilities so this is an extension to the kitchen perfect place for hiding the bins you've got the fridge freezer built in specifically designed in and around some larger cupboards so one's a great pull out one of those really nifty ones and the other one more for shelving and then as we come through again you've then got the more of the kind of laundry area of the utility room so space for a washing machine another sink more quartz worktops again a lot of people skimp on the utilities and just do laminate and then tons of wardrobes and cupboards over on this side so housing the boiler housing more storage and even housing the microwaves tucked away in there as well so there's electric behind those doors then you've got this real added bonus now if you work from home as these guys do this is absolutely superb what a fantastic dual office. So really nice space, really nice, a, a laminate floor in fact, but a tile effect. Really great that you can see you can get two desks in here, plenty of room to work together and have some storage. And you've still got room on that corner as well if you wanted it. So really nice size space down here. So 
We've surprised you, I would hope, with the downstairs space. Oh, and don't forget, you've got a door there through into a larger than average single garage, which is housing a car. And through into the kitchen, let's take you upstairs and show you more of this fantastic home and how it expands as we go up the stairs as well. Right, so taking you up to the upstairs areas, now we have three floors with this property, so much bigger than you would expect. And straight away we're coming onto this lovely light gallery landing, really nice space here, everything's really neutral and as I told you at the beginning, absolutely pristine. So we've got bedroom four over to the right hand side here. Now this is a single bedroom, you could easily get a single bed over on the right where we've got all the wardrobes at the moment. As you can see this is currently set up as a dressing room which is absolutely perfect I mean how many ladies wouldn't like one of these so really nice fourth bedroom there but makes a good single or a study then you've got bedroom three which is through this way as you can see a really good double plenty of room in here for a double bed for bedside tables and then also at this end you have more than enough room to have a proper full-on wardrobe if you wanted to and have something built in even. Nice to have the light in from the window at the side and then you've got the airing cupboard just to the right, bathroom straight ahead, nice family bathroom, really nicely refitted, you've got vanity unit, you've got the p-shaped bath with the shower with a rain head of course over the top and then I'm going to show you the master bedroom before we take you up to the very big room on the top floor. So this is a really lovely main bedroom here. Really good size, plenty of space for a double, king size or even a super king size if you wanted to because you don't have to worry about wardrobe space because straight opposite me now you can see that we've got a very wide double wardrobe there. We've also got lots of space if I come into this corner just to show you that in that corner there and along that wall you could put more storage as well as these guys have. Then through to a really nice size ensuite. Again, fitted out with lovely vanity units. So you've got lots of space for storage in here. And just as I come in and pan around and up to show you that we have a wide and nice size shower with the rainfall shower head as well, which is exactly what everybody wants these days. So lovely size main bedroom, lovely size double bedroom as a double, and then also a small single straight study. But this is where you will adding the extra space again so coming up to the top floor you've got a really nice kind of little landing area now this would be perfect for a little study desk or some more storage for um, shoes etc or for clothes now if you've got a teenager they're going to fight you for this room they really are going to want to be up here because that could be their little hangout area and then they've got this most enormous top floor loft room so currently used as a bit of a gym area an extra kind of seating area and tv room so great when the other half wants to watch his football or whatever it might be we have to kick them out of the main living room and chuck them up here but this is a superb bedroom you can see it's a really good size as a double and would make a fantastic master suite as well if you weren't worried about not having the ensuite immediately at hand so let's take you downstairs now. You've seen inside this deceptive house. Let's show you the garden. So coming through from the dining room and through these wide French doors out onto the garden space and what a fantastic space we've got here. You have got a really huge patio area, really nice size. I'm just going to pan back a little bit to show you that we've got lots of seating space just outside the French doors if you wanted a more formal outdoor picnic garden table. You've also got this fantastic space for sofa seating over to the right hand side, little side gate through to your driveway and what I really love about this garden is this little area here where you can sit around the fire pit toast your marshmallows and enjoy a drink or two now you've got the extra width to the garden which goes all the way over to the wall over on this side which is lovely really nice section over to the side where you've got the log store which you need for the wood burner and then a bit of a surprise because this is a corner plot it's really wide as well and goes over to the side of the house giving you this great area for vegetable plots for storing the bins you could even put the bins at the front and then just turf this again if you wanted to create a lovely children's play area here if you've got children but otherwise keep it exactly as it is and grow your own gate round to the front again where of course you've got that lovely front garden 
So just to finish off and recap where we are within the village, you're really close to absolutely everything. Your walking distance of the pub, your walking distance of the nursery, the village school, little shop which is at the Bear Garage, village hall just up the road, and also you're very close by to Loudon and Shaw and the garden centre and farm shop there. But not only that, you've got Whitley just up the road with the fabulous pear tree, Spindles Bike Shop and Cafe and Community Shop in that area too. So what more could you want? These guys have found somewhere they want to move to so please do get in touch that's an end of chain scenario there if you want to move quickly and buy this fabulous four bedroom family home then please do get in touch as soon as possible